Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of LG Corner with me, Dr. West Bishop. We're talking about freshwater sponges. Now there's many marine sponges out there, but only a handful of freshwater sponges, about 300 species, and really only 20 of those live in the United States. And those are all grouped in one family called Spongilidae. Now what is a sponge, you ask? Well, it's a colonial aggregate animal that attaches to things underwater. I often see it growing in these flowing conditions or attached to things like fountains. It can really clog them up and be a big nuisance. Some of them can form this thick carpet across the bottom growing attached to things. They like to grow attached to debris like rocks or logs across the bottom of these systems. They have this very neat silica-based exoskeleton similar to that of the diatom cell wall. Now, they can grow symbiotic with things like algae inside their biomass, sort of like a coral does. Uh, they're often light tan or yellow when they're growing, uh, but they shift to this gray, green, or brownish in color in wintertime. Sponges have a very coarse texture, and they're actually filter feeders. They push the water through their structure. They filter out bacteria and detritus and some types of algae. Now, you can find them in a lot of different clean waters or slow-moving streams. Freshwater sponges are quite delicate in structure. Um, but they can grow sort of encrusting all sorts of rocks and, and logs across the bottom. So keep an eye out for these pretty neat, gross and aquatic system. And thank you for tuning in to today's episode of LG Corner with me, Dr. West Bishop. If you have a problem with toxic or nuisance algae, Seapro can help you fix it. Give us a call, visit our website, or take a look at the rest of our videos for more information. Thanks for watching and subscribing to Algae Corner.